Hello everyone, this is Pawan. Currently, I'm working as cybersecurity engineer at Bosch. In today's Friday talk, we are going to uh, see how we can build front end web applications using Wasm, Rust, and Vue. So, WebAssembly is a binary instruction format for a stack based virtual machine. Wasm is designed as a portable compilation target for programming languages, enabling deployment on web for client and server applications. Relative to, relative to JavaScript, WebAssembly offers predictable performance. It is not inherently faster than JavaScript, but it can be faster than JavaScript in correct use case, such as computational intensive tasks like nested loops, handling large amounts of data. Therefore, WebAssembly is complement to JavaScript, not a replacement. So Vue.rs is a popular Rust-based front-end framework. It allows you to build web applications using Rust, which is traditionally known as a systems program programming language for front end. You can bring Rust's memory safety and performance to web. So Vue can be used with WebAssembly to compile your Rust code to run directly in the browser. So there are three essential crates that we will be using alongside with Vue.rs. So the first one is Wasm Bindgen. Wasm Bindgen enables interoperability between uh, JavaScript and Rust. So we can import Rust, we can import JavaScript functions into Rust and we can export Rust functions that can be called using JavaScript. So the next one is WebSys. In Vue.rs project, we might use WebSys to perform tasks like manipulating DOM, handling browser events, accessing other browser specific features. Another live another crate is sys js sys. When working with VRS, you might incorporate this uh, js sys to interact with JavaScript values and objects directly from the Rust code. In order in order to work with uh, VRS, first we need to install Rust, and then we need to install Wasm WebAssembly target. Then we need to install Trunk, which is recommended tool for managing deployment and packaging of your VRS application. I will walk you through the simple view, simple counter demo application that I built using VRS. So first we need to create a Rust project using cargo new. Then in our cargo.toml file, we need to add view as our dependency. And also we have to create index.html file in the root directory of the project. Now, in your main.rs, we are importing view as into the scope, and in our main function, which is entry point of our application, uh, this call to view render app new render is going to start your application and mount the root component to the pages body tag. In view.rs, a component is like a building block of your web application. Imagine your web app as a big puzzle made up of many smaller pieces. Each of these smaller pieces is a component. A component is a unit of functionality that can be reused. We can reuse this component. So component has its own code and it describes how it should look and behave and it can have its own state. So this is how you define a component. You uh, basically it's a function which returns an HTML. And we annotate it with a uh, function component. Don't worry about this app. This is a structure, it will automatically get created by view. So, in our app, we have a root component which is called app. In our root component, we have a child component called counter. So, here I defined counter component. In the counter component, we have state, counter state. This use state hook will trigger a re render of the component when the state gets updated. So, here we have two callbacks one for increment and one for decrement. Here we are defining an in increment callback, which is a closure. Inside of the closure, we are cloning the counter state so that it doesn't get uh, ownership, doesn't get transferred into this closure. So, here uh, we are, we are extracting the previous value of the counter and incrementing it by one and we are updating the state using counter dot set state and we are passing it the value. So on next we have decrement callback. 
in here 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 also we are cloning the counter we are in we are uh, extracting the previous value and decrementing it by one and we are setting the new state and finally we are returning our html this html is a this html is a macro uh, which takes in your html think of this like uh, jsx in react so in this uh, counter component we have three child components uh, they are title increment button and decrement button components so all these components are taking properties properties are essentially components arguments we are just passing arguments like title value label on click so here we are passing this increment uh, into the on click as a prop to the button component and decrement as a prop to the decrement component we'll take a look at uh, title component so here i define the title component this is how you would define uh, props for a component this is a struct which uh, derives properties and partially equal rights in here we define our properties title and value here i define the component which takes in title reference which takes a reference to title props in here we are returning our html here we are using this props prop dot title dot clone because if you don't clone it will get moved into the html macro and then we have our button component which takes in a label and our on click uh, callback as props here i define the uh, props for the button which takes label and an on click which is a callback of which which is a callback which takes a mouse event so here i define the a button component which takes in the reference of button props here we are returning a button in the on click listener we are passing the props dot on click dot clone passing the event handler and here we are passing the label So to run our view app, we have to use a command called trunk. So this command will build and serve our application locally. Now if we go to our local host port 8080, you can see our application. And use our increment button to increment the counter and decrement button to decrement the counter so this is how we can build our build and front end application in rust using vrs thank you for watching